Number six, integrated concepts. Letter A, what is the average power output of a heart defibrillator if it dissipates 400 joules of energy in 10 milliseconds? So uh, I don't know how integrated this is, but I mean, it's just a simple power calculation. So power is, remember, always equal to the change in energy divided by then the change over time in which that energy is being absorbed or released or whatever the case is. So in this particular case, the change, the energy that's being dissipated is 400 joules. The time is in milliseconds, but you know we need that in seconds, so that's 0.01. Just simply take the 10, divide that then by 1,000. And here it's going to be now 400, then with two more zeros attached to it, so that becomes 40,000 watts. That's the power. Letter A. Okay. Letter B. Considering the high power output, why doesn't the defibrillator uh, produce serious burns? Well, that's probably why they use some of that gel, right, when they, when they use it. Uh, it's probably also for conducting purposes, but at the same time, it's probably also uh, is a function of how long uh, the defibrillator is dispensing or dissipating that amount of energy. If the defibrillator were on for an extended period of time and it just kept right, it kept dissipating the 400 joules of energy continuously, well, that might be a problem. But um, sure. All right, guys, thanks so very much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. We look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.